<clears throat> Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with a male. Always a privilege to be in a position to give you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you're seeing me, the first time you're coming across my channel, a special um, welcome to you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Please kindly consider becoming a part of our family by subscribing. And do not forget to turn on your, your notification bell so that whenever there is a new content, you will be the first to know. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And to all my returning subscribers, I love you. I'm always praying for you. You're always in my thoughts and you're always in my prayer. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me a prophetic word and I couldn't wait to share. But um, I'd like to pray for us before um, I release this prophetic word because I need it to fall on ready hearts and on people who are destined to see this. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word that is about to come forth. Lord, I pray that as your word come for let it bear fruits in the mighty name of Jesus and that the prophetic words will manifest speedily in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God just, um, I, was, I was just having this moment and God was teaching me about how important it is for you to obey even when you do not understand and, and the, the benefits of such obedience so many great things that god has done for people he did it because of their obedience because they were obedient towards doing one thing or the other even when it was not convenient you know esther's esther's obedience to obedience to his um uncle Mordecai made him king made her queen number one and secondly made her to enter in the, into a place of fast and she was able to convince the king she was able to convince the king and and that is how expansion came to the jews and god started telling me specifically about the man saul you know so god had great plans for saul god wanted him to be anointed as a leader but god did not come out straight out rightly to tell him saul this is it god orchestrated a scenario that was kind of belittling you know it was a scenario that was kind of belittling because the Bible gave us the credentials of Saul, telling us how handsome he was. Maybe let's read that. Um, 1 Samuel chapter 9, from verse 1. It says, There was a man of the tribe of Benjamin, whose name was Kish, the son of Abiel, the son of Zero, the son of Baruch. Uh, Bakora, the son of Aphia, a Benjamite, a mighty man of influence and wealth. Now, this is where Saul comes in. Kish had a son named Saul, a choice and handsome man. Among the sons of Israel, there was not a man more handsome than he. From his shoulders up, he was a head taller than any one of them. These are the, this is the description of who Saul was. They say he was very handsome. In the whole of Israel, there was no one that could be compared to him in the sense of handsomeness. But yet God wrapped up his next level in an instruction that was kind of belittling. When his father's donkey got missing, his father, you know, his father had servants. He could as well um, send the servants to go look for the donkey. But he decided that he wanted Saul to be among. Now, let me read um, verse 3. Now, the donkey of Kish, Saul's father, had wandered off and were lost. Kish said to Saul, please take one of the servants with you and arise, go look for the donkey. I can imagine. Why would God send Saul? Why would Saul father send him for such a, a, a mission when a servant or two servants could have done it? But because something was wrapped up in that instruction. The original intention of God for Saul was hidden. The original intention was hidden. And God just wanted to see a level of humility and a level of um, obedience. God had already planned everything. And if for any reason Saul refused to embark on this journey, he would have lost it. 
he would have lost it because God already had it all planned out. When I when I read this, I started thinking like how many times have we ruined the plan of God with our ego with our pride with our nonchalance god had already planned something for us but we ruined it because of our many baggages so the bible says in the book of um, samuel chapter 9 verse 15 to confirm that god already had everything planned out and now it was only dependent on saul's obedience to make this come to pass verse 15 says now a day before saul came the lord had informed samuel of this saying about this time tomorrow i will send a man from the land of Benjamin and you shall anoint him as leader over my people Israel and he will save my people from the hand of the Philistine for I have looked upon the distress of my people because their cry for help has come to me so you see that God had already planned it I it, it's so scary you know because when I read this I thought like it's very possible that we frustrate the plans of God it's very possible because God said, I am sending someone to you. But that was not what God told Saul. Saul was on a journey to recover his father's donkeys that were missing. It's not like God, you know, for the case of, um, is it Cornelius? God appeared to him and told him, go to Peter. And he told Peter, this person is coming, receive him. It was not the same thing. God did not tell Saul that go meet Samuel. I have spoken to him to anoint you. No, God just through his father gave an instruction, go look for my donkeys. And it was his obedience to that instruction that opened him that door. It opened him that door. And God is speaking to someone. Maybe you have received an instruction and it's kind of belittling. It's kind of stupid. You know, the things of God, so many times they do not make sense. When God gives you an instruction, many a times they do not make sense. Or sometimes we feel like it is too demanding. But I tell you the truth, a lot of blessings are wrapped up in the instructions of God. I don't know what that is. It might sound stupid. I don't want to start giving examples because I don't want to miss it. But I am speaking to you. My prayer is that God will be ministering to you specifically about an instruction that you received and maybe you trivialize for one reason or the other and that a major breakthrough, a major miracle was tied on it. I don't know what that instruction is that the Lord gave you through someone because God might not tell you outrightly. God can pass through someone to give you an instruction that does not make sense. The same as God passed through Kish, the father of son, to send him on that kind of errand. I pray that you will not miss that instruction that will change your life forever in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not miss it. You will not miss that instruction that will change your life forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Did you receive this word with gladness? I pray that the Lord will bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, that he will be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Until I come your way again, I remain your prophetic intercessor. Shalom.